Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl D. Levon. Someone had asked me about um, how to put a timer or a clock into a video as an overlay. So this is the way that I do it. You can do it on an iPhone. You can do it on an iPad. Um, since that's what I use, that is the tutorial that I'm going to be showing you today. Really quick, simple, easy way to do it. You want to see how it goes down, then keep on watching. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. We're going to start off at the home screen. You should only need these three things, um, your clock, your iMovie app, and your camera. So for the purpose of this video, you'll see me using the arrow button. And when I use that arrow button, as you see me doing here, those are the things that I want you to go into. All right, so here we are at the home screen. I want you to go into your clock and you are going to just start it. And again, for the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna do it for, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 seconds or something like that, just to show you how to do it. Um, but say for instance, you wanted to just continuously run, you're going to have to screen record that, okay? As you see me doing here. So say for instance, you wanted to run from zero to five minutes or zero to 10 minutes, you're going to have to screen record it for that amount of time. Hope that makes sense. And if not, it should by the time we get finished. All right, so stop it, save it. Now we're gonna go into iMovie. In iMovie, I'm just pulling up a video. I'm using the arrow buttons, showing you where I'm pointing to. We're going to go into video. We're going to go into recently added. And we're going to pull that video of the clock, the one that we just made. You can either go into your camera and crop it. I'll show you that later. Or you can just do it and crop here from iMovie. And so we're going to crop that and then save it. So I know it's a lot of back and forth go in this, go out of that, save this, save that. But this is the way I insert the clock into the video, okay? If you know of an easier way, by all means, please do it. But to me, this is pretty simple. Okay, so now we have the clock and you see how I'm just blowing it up to crop it. That's it, that's the clock and the time is going, okay? That's your stopwatch. And we are going to, again, save this. Like I said, it's gonna be a lot of back and forth saving, okay? So I'm using the arrows to tell you what a point. Now when you save it, depending on which I movie you have you may have one that doesn't ask you for what you want to save it under but you can save it under medium large whatever and then we're going to go back and this is a video that I had just to show you all from when I was doing a workout challenge and I needed a clock so I'm going to show you how I add the timer in there. Using the arrow key, I'm telling you, blow it up here. We're gonna go into video, recently added. I'm gonna pull that clock, the one that we saved, and I'm going to do a picture in picture. You see my arrow? And that will add it as an overlay onto my video. So that's how you insert the clock. You insert the clock by using picture and picture and do it as an overlay. In here, you can take the white 
from around the box and just make it black. You can zoom in to make your clock bigger or smaller. You can move it from left to right or up or down, which is what I am showing you here. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's the same process. If you want to use a timer or a stopwatch or an actual clock, okay? So yeah. Okay, so just in case you don't wanna add a stopwatch, but you wanna add a clock because you have like a food challenge to do or some kind of time challenge, you pretty much do it the same way, except you wanna go in and set your clock for the amount of minutes that it calls for. So in this case, I'm saying that I need five minutes and I set it for that and I let the five minutes run and then I saved it and I cropped it and then I hit picture in picture and I added it on to the video as an overlay, like I showed you in the last steps. And that's it, y'all. And like I said, it seems pretty simple to me. Just follow the steps, get your phone out, get your iPad out and do it at the same time with me. Um, this is the easiest way that I find to do it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Go ahead and get your stopwatch or your clock added to your videos, okay? Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace and love from your girl, D, and I will see you in the next video.